Thank you for program director for that warm welcome. I would like to acknowledge the minister in absentia and extend my greeting to the CEO of CSIR, uh, city of Tuane, the leaders that are here and representatives uh, from uh, South Africa, the continent and the globe and the delegates and ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to be invited and I'm here in the capacity of the South African Young Academy of Science. We are delighted. And <clears throat> when we talk about academic excellence or when we talk about research excellence, we normally talk about it in the context or in the framework of discipline. However, grand challenges have mostly been solved at the interface of discipline. And as science, we see this more of a hallmark, more of a foundation, more of a gateway and a channel that we can use to solve those grand challenges collectively. The beauty about this initiative is that it has embraced the collective leadership, the leadership that is a necessity for this era. Um, for the presentation, um, I'll start with the strategic goals for SIAS. And our strategic goals, it includes advancing uh, scientific excellence from South Africa, the country, uh, the continent, and the globe to influence policy, to have a trans to multidisciplinary collaboration and science that, that uh, impacts the society and to also promote um, science and its value initiative. So how do we see this uh, initiative and this platform as SIAS? Um, the first point when we're discussing as, as core members, we see it more of a coherent type of framework to research agendas. Because we've been working before with some of the university within the continent, but we didn't have more of a coherent framework uh, that addresses research agendas. And we see it uh, as something that can embrace STEMI, STEMI with the three eyes at the end, your innovation, your in industrialization, and your infrastructure, and with an intent of uh, bringing solution to the local context while also embracing the UN sustainability goals. Um, secondly, in terms of the coherent framework to research agendas that we think uh, and we see this platform bringing, we looked at the innova inclusive innovation, resilient infrastructure, and sustainable industrialization. So our focus was there uh, when we looked at the uh, sustainable development goals, and mainly we wanted to align that to challenges that are common to humanity. One of them being reduction of poverty, uh, one of them to um, decent work and economic growth, one of them in terms of reducing inequality. So what we looked at, we, we were aligning to uh, challenges that are common to humanity. Uh, using inclusive innovation, resilient infrastructure, and sustainable industrialization. Um, we also looked at the trans to multidisciplinary type of approach that this platform um, can be used for, uh, mainly because we look at translation and rapid translation of public funded research into the public system, but also where funding is not limited to borders so that you can work with our partners in um, Africa and across the globe. Um, there was already prof who talked about the University of Pretoria. We, uh, we wanted to make an example of that, so I'm not gonna repeat what prof has already said. Um, so in terms of the project that SIAS, we've had uh, collaborating within the continent. Last year, we had one project that was looking at climate change adoption and mitigation within a pandemic in Africa. And we partnered with the stakeholders that you can see uh, that are projected in, in, in the presentation. And SIAS members were very uh, active participants in that um, work. Another example that we partnered now with the young academies that are at, in, in the SADC region 
was now looking at COVID-19, but mainly focusing on the non-pharmaceutical interventions. And there was a policy brief that we did collaboratively with other young academic science from the SADC region. Another one, this now is at the global level. We're very active participants at the World Science Forum in 2019, which was in Budapest, Hungary. And what you see here is more of the representatives of young academies across the globe. So um, I was representing South Africa in this one, but Prof. Uh, Oltoni was also there, she's at UCT. And here, after this work, what came out was one of the booklet that is actually available is on the website since we are hosting this year, the World Science Forum, there is a booklet there. And we were looking at how can we bridge the gap between science and the society. It was a project that was done in, at the World Science Forum in 2019 by the young academics, but at the global level. The exciting part now we are, we've partnered with Ireland and we are working, um, Ireland is busy uh, preparing for the launch of the Young Academy of Ireland, which will be happening next week. So some of our members even wrote uh, testimonials that are on their web page. So that is also a partnership that we are busy with at the global level. So the overall aims is what I've just said in terms of advancing science excellence uh, at uh, the continent, the globe, and in South Africa, but also influencing uh, policies, and also in terms of embracing collaboration, whether it's transdisciplinary, in, in an attempt to, um, to, to, to mentor, to supervise the next generation of scientists. And this is our contact details. The executive member is composed, we are five in total. Uh, the first, uh, Representative is sorry about that. I don't know what I did. Uh, it's back. It's, it's Sudesh, who is at UCT. Myself, I'm at Val University of Technology. And Dustin, who is U at University of Johannesburg. Uh, Chad, who is at uh, University of Pretoria. And Tesh, who is at Vet University. Uh, thank you very much. We're looking forward to co-create co solutions with you. Thank you.